How are you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. You guys just got done checking out chapter one of building out this masterpiece on each of these 1800 gallon aquariums. Told you guys I was waiting on some uh, pieces to cook them in. Well, it's lucky that uh, Amazon delivers today and we got a package in the mail. So let's check it out. So we have some help today and I told you guys we were going to be doing white gravel in the bottom of this tank. Well they went ahead and carried over these bags of white gravel we were going to put in the 4400. So we're going to go ahead and finish these tanks off. But I told you we had a package in the, the, the mail. So uh, let's see what this is. So you guys can see here, bam look at these. We've got inch and a half bulkhead, inch and a half bulkhead, two inch bulkhead, inch and a half bulkhead. Wait a minute, there is more. Here we go, another two inch bulkhead, another inch and a half bulkhead. I just went up to the store and I got caps for all of these bulkheads. So bam, and bam. That'll cap off them holes. This will cap off them. Wait a minute, there should be one more. Oh. I didn't lose it. So there we go. We've got the six bulkheads and the six caps. I went ahead inside and grabbed my Teflon tape. Now uh, there were a few comments about Teflon tape. Well, I've been using it for years. I personally like it. You know, you walk the Teflon up the, the thread, so the more you tighten it, the tighter it gets. And of course, I told you guys I'm going to go ahead and put basically a seal of silicone. After I tighten these down, and go ahead and put a seal of silicone around here and then silicone around the, the outside of the, uh, the bulkhead just for extra security. But there is gaskets on here and there is a, a nut. So uh, most people have a problem with bulkheads. Now let me go ahead and talk about this for just a little bit. So you see we have a hole here. You basically stick the bulkhead down, the gasket sits in between the tank and the, the flange of the bulkhead. Now you're not supposed to tighten bulkheads down severely tight that will cause them to leak. I've never really had a problem with uh, having bulkheads leak unless it is an older bulkhead and the gasket is eaten up. But I have people calling me all the time, I just bought a brand new bulkhead, I tighten it down, bam, it leaks. So I tighten it more and now it's leaking even more. Well you see, there is a problem. If you tighten the bulkhead too tight, it's going to leak. So you have to basically take it down or you tighten up the nut until it's snug and then you go maybe a quarter turn past snug and you just leave it at that. You might not think that it is uh, enough, but that is plenty enough pressure to hold this uh, bulkhead to be watertight. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting these bulkheads capped and then I'm gonna crawl my big self in this tank once again and I will pass the phone to my dad and you guys can watch me get to work. I'm gonna show you guys how we end up doing our plugs and whatnot. So always when you have a plug, you wanna start the touch up on tape in the same direction as the, the, the threading. So as you thread it on, you're not going backwards and ripping the tough on tape up. But as I walk up the thread, I'll do you know one on the first row, then I'll do two. And then I'll come around the back side. You want it a bit thicker because as you tighten it, you're going to walk it up the, the plug and it's only going to get tighter as you screw it in. So there, and then you just break it off and you're good to go. Mush it down in the threads just a wee bit. Now we're going to go ahead and take these bulkheads and we're going to cap them from underneath so they're not sticking up through the tank. So basically you take it and you screw it in. First, you can do it by hand, it'll be super easy. And you can see it starts getting a little bit tighter. The more you go in, the tighter it gets. So, so I have uh, the little pliers here. I'll go ahead and tighten this down. You just want to bring this to where it's super snug. You don't want to over tighten it because you can break the bulkhead. And you want it tight enough so it doesn't leak, of course. So there we go. Ah, a little bit more. There we go, just until your hands don't want to turn this anymore with the pliers. So there we have it. That's what we're doing on all the bulkheads to plug the bottom of these tanks. 
Oh, would you look at that? We've got bulkhead number one in, got bulkhead number two, and bulkhead number three. I just crawled in there. We have our intern Jeremy helping us out for the day. He was uh, putting the, the nuts on while I was in the tank holding the bulkhead. So I still have to get under here and uh, tighten them up with a pair of channel locks. But you know what this means, guys? Once these bulkheads are in and they're tight, it's time for a water test. And you know what happens around here with water tests? If it don't leak, it stays full. And if it stays full, that means there's fish that goes in it. So you guys might, might, and I mean might, just see one of these Bellagio tanks up and rolling today. If not, both of them. We still got to get in here and put the bulkheads in. But I have the bulkheads. We shall uh, see what we feel like getting done today. So uh, stay tuned, guys. All right, so bulkheads are in. They are tightened down. Now we are going to start dumping gravel into the tank. And then we can start test filling this gargantuan beast of a tank. All the meanwhile, we're going to be working on the second tank. I uh, still got to put the bulkheads in, of course. But we're work working on one to try and get, get it complete. So you guys can have a bit of uh, action in this video. But this is chapter two of the Bellagio tank build out. So as promised, we are gonna start filling her with gravel. You guys can see I'm using an old Stingray bar as a knife here, kinda cool. Kinda fitting out in the fish room. So that is from our, uh, our big mama. Oh, I guess I can take the lid off, right? <laughs> Alrighty, first bag going in. Only so many more to go. You can already see a world of difference. That is gonna look amazing. So each of these are a 25 pound bag. So uh, you guys can count with me as we add the bags. We're going to need the same amount for the next tank. Covering pretty decently well. And then you get in there with the stick and uh, smooth some places out. But we're probably going to only do about an inch of gravel in through here. We're not going to do a whole lot. Um, it's just going to be community fish and cichlids in here. So they don't really need a whole bunch of gravel. So we're just going to do it to cover the ground and uh, cover the bottoms of the corals. All right, so would you look at this? We got 14 bags of gravel in the tank. Definitely brightened it up a whole lot. But of course, the second we get done, my dad comes out and says he wants to install a bubble wall in the back of the tank. So now what that means, I gotta run up to the store. Gotta get some hard airline tubing. We gotta make the bubble wall. I gotta get back in there, move all the gravel away from the back wall, install the bubble wall, and then go ahead and silicone it in place so that can be able to dry, put the gravel back, and then we would be that, that one step closer towards filling it with water. The bulkheads are in. We can't even see them anymore, but they, they are capped. They should be watertight. We still have this tank to go. I've got the uh, bulkheads prepped, but uh, we have not put them in yet. I'm going to go ahead and work on one tank first and then the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the uh, materials to have the bubble wall in the other tank as well. So I can go ahead and make them at the same time. And then we can go ahead and put this in. So what that means for you guys, you're gonna have to stick around for yet another chapter in this aquarium build. You guys won't see water in it in this video, 
maybe the next video, who knows? I hate to lead you guys on, but my hand was forced in this instant. But we are still waiting to get uh, matching lighting on this tank. Because as, as you see, you go down, you know, there's different lighting as you walk down the tank. And we don't really like that. There's three different lights on here. Not very attractive. So uh, we're going to go ahead and order some lighting for this tank. But that's going to take a little bit and it's going to come in the mail. So a week or two, or depending on when we actually order it. It will be coming in the mail. And then we can have both of these tanks looking the exact same because this one over here has absolutely no lights on it and it looks dark and dingy and looks uh, not that great. So that's why I don't try and show it as much. But you can see, even in just natural sunlight, the corals still look pretty. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and run up to RMS and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some aquarium supplies. So we are going to keep giving you guys videos as we progress along in this uh, dual 1800 gallon tank build out series. So we are in chapter 2 now. We went ahead and got the bulkheads in. We got the gravel in. Next video I'm going to go ahead and work on the other tank off of it video. You guys don't need to see the boring progression of me putting rocks and bulkheads in, in a tank. So at the start of chapter 3 we will have both of these tanks up to this point. So starting in chapter three, we will show you how we build the uh, bubble wall across the, the back. We went ahead and doing this a little bit different way than we normally do, but we will explain that all in video three. So if you guys want to build your own custom bubble wall, you can go ahead and do that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and end to, to today's video and uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys keep following along on this uh, amazing project build out it will be done before you guys know it so i hope you enjoyed and as always stay fishing